We could generate another six functions. These are the reciprocals of the circular trig functions and the hyperbolic trig functions. The cosecant x is defined as 1 upon sine x, which is right, written as cosec x. The secant of x is 1 upon cos x, which is written as sec x. And the cotangent of x is equal to 1 upon tan x, and that's written as cot x. So we can generate these three reciprocal functions, cosec x, sec x, and cot x. Now we can do the same with the hyperbolic equivalents in order to generate the 1 upon sinh, the 1 upon cosh, and the 1 upon tanj, which gives us these three functions here. Now what we can do is we can generate the original function sine, cos, and tan, or sinh, cosh, and tanj, and then we can run through the quadratic algorithm once more using the linear vectoring mode in order to give us the reciprocal function. So we can use the linear vectoring mode. We have an initialization of x0 is equal to whatever the value is you want to find the reciprocal of, which is just a value x. y0 is a value of 1, z0 is equal to 0. Now the output we would get would be z0 plus y0 upon x0. We set z0 is equal to 0 and the y0 is equal to 1. So this gives us a final output angle, which is 1 upon x0, which is the reciprocal. So let's have a quick look at these functions in the graphical calculator. So we have the reciprocal of the sine, which is 1 upon sine, which is written as cosec x. We have the reciprocal of the cos, which is written as sec x. We have the reciprocal of the tan, which is written as cot x. We then have the hyperbolic equivalents. We have the reciprocal of the sinh, which is given by this function here. We have the reciprocal of the cosh, which is given by this function here. And finally, the reciprocal of the tanj, which is given by this function. So that's us able to generate another six functions by using the linear vectoring mode in order to work out the reciprocal. So that's all for this video. Thank you for listening. I'll get you on the next video. Goodbye.